Welcome to the channel, Ahilan here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about a very important topic, and that's understanding your customer. Now, this is applicable to everything. So this goes for self-publishing, affiliate marketing, and internet marketing in general. So it, it's applicable and applies to everything. So let's talk about the difference between interest versus buyer intent. And I'm going to give you some examples later on in the video, so you're going to want to stay tuned because you're going to find this information very impactful and uh, helpful. So there's a big difference between having a customer who's interested and having a customer with a buyer intent, right? So let's talk about interest. So when a customer is interested in a product or service, they don't have that motive, right? They don't have that intention to buy, like buyer intent, right? So these types of customers are customers that are in the browsing mode, you can say, right? They're in the window shopping mode, right? And this is where copywriting comes in, right? Because these types of customers have an interest to buy a product or service, but they're not yet fully convinced, right? They're not convinced, so you have to capture their attention. You have to appeal to them and then close the sale through copywriting. Now, copywriting is persuasion in words, right? So this you would utilize copywriting in your sales page. So for example, on Amazon, if you're publishing, you would use the sales page for the book description. If it's affiliate marketing, you'd create a landing page and uh, try to sell to your customers, right? Because you have to appeal to them and you have to persuade them and convince them that the product or service you're selling has value and it's something that they need, right? So selling to a customer who's interested is a bit more it is harder than selling to a customer with a buyer intent. Now let's talk about buyer intent. So a customer who has a buyer intent is in the buying mode, right? They're no longer in the browsing mode, but they're in the buying mode. So they have the intention and motive to buy. So when they're looking for a product or service, they have that intention. They know what they're looking for. So copywriting although important isn't as critical at if the customer is in the buyer intent mode right if they're in the buying mode it's not as critical because the customer has the intention to buy your product or service so i'm gonna go on the amazon website and show you an example of how this may look so here i've typed in shoes now this is an example of a customer who would go on the amazon website and type in the search engine who's who's interested so they're in the browsing mode so they know that they want shoes so they're interested to buy shoes and they're browsing amazon's listing right they're browsing 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 and oh look maybe this captures my attention or their attention and then they start going through the uh, sales page which is the description of the product right now for the buyer intent mode or the buying mode Customers know what they're looking for, so rock climbing shoes. So they know what they're looking for, and they're most likely gonna buy the best rock climbing shoes. So I would venture to say they'd probably type in best rock climbing shoes or something along those lines, and probably select a product that has an appeal, uh, a good amount of social proof, so reviews, and buy from there, right? So. That's the difference between a customer who's interested and a customer who has a buyer intent. And this is critical to understand when you're in business, especially in the online space, whether you're self-publishing, you're using affiliate marketing, or you're doing internet marketing in general. It's critical to understand the difference and the distinction between the two because this is what's going to help you make more sales by understanding these fundamentals, right? because there's a big difference between interest and buyer intent. And I can give you an analogy to paint the picture. So it's kind of like a relationship, right? So if you've ever ch chased someone in a relationship or if someone chases someone in a relationship, you'll notice that it's a lot harder for them to create that relationship, right? It's more work compared to having uh, the ability or capacity to create attraction. So if you can create that attraction, that significant other comes to you. It's the same thing with the customers, right? So with Interest, you're kind of chasing them. You have to appeal to them. You have to persuade them. With buyer intent, right, you create the attraction, right? They're coming to you, 
right? So that's the difference and it's critical to understand these modes. And I go into detail about this uh, for self-publishing in the Passive Income Publishing Academy course. But for the sake of this video, I also wanted to talk about the the difference between the two. And with buyer interest, there's also uh, the sales transaction process that I go over. If you're uh, publishing on Amazon, that's uh, applicable to the self-publishing space. You know, there's a three-step tra sales transaction process, keywords, Amazon marketing, book cover, and then as well as the copywriting, which is the gatekeeper before you make a sale. But anyways, for the sake of this video, it, it was just... Uh, short and sweet and i just wanted to talk about interest buyer interest and buyer intent there's a big difference between the two and helping you understand this difference is critical to enhancing your business and generating more revenue ultimately so that's going to be this video if you found value in it please remember to like subscribe and share comment below let me know your thoughts i'd like to hear them thanks for watching see you in the next video